I started working at Papa John Center in 1994. Um, it's a tough job, but uh, one thing that really inspired me uh, are the children. I was telling myself, who will take care of these neglected and abandoned children if I also abandon them? There was a study conducted in 1998, and it says there that there are about 1.2 million street children, and 70,000 of them are in Metro Manila alone. The population of a city like Manila increases from 9 million to 17, 18 million in a matter of just over a decade or more. Of course, this will have a huge impact on the, the amount of children who end up on the streets, especially when these families are poor to begin with and they come here and end up in the squatters and become even poorer. These children have no chance. Mary Grace Lozano has been in the center for almost six years now. She was found roaming around the street before, before she came into the center uh, in 2000. She was shown in, in one of the evening shows in Channel 11. The mother saw her and then the mother called the station and then that's the time we find the, the family of Grace. It was only last year before December, November 2006. On Monday, Grace will be her first visit with her mother and other siblings. But actually, Grace has a strong decision already to stay in the center and then to finish her education because of her goal of helping the family later on. <laughs> She is her, her mother. This is her siblings. Pumunta ako sa Batangas. Pumunta ako yung ate ko. Pagpunta ko doon, wala. Tapos umuwi na ako kagad. Pagdating doon sa, ano, sa MC yun, eh ito naman, ay itong isa, karga ko ito, akay-akay ko, eh maraming tao. Eh sige pa niya, ito siya nagkawalay sa akin. Nididiretso ako doon, paglingon ko, wala yung anak ko. Ayun, hinahanap ko siya. Pagdang mag ako naghahanap ko. 11.13, nag-anap ko sa TV, tapos, yun yung plus, kita ko siya. Yung sa TV na, maliit ang litrato yung sabi. Hindi nga ako nakatulog dun eh. Nagpasalamat ako na, nakita ko siya. Ako si Danilo Rosano. Taong gulang. August 1, 1965, and dito po sa Manila, Katira. Nanaraba ako sa isang tracking company. Itong nagkaroon ko ng anak na anin. Ngayon nga nawala ay yung isa. Yung isa naman nakita. Ngayon, hindi ko alam pa kung anong gagawin ko pa nung lalaki ko.
My name is Edralyn P. De Los Reyes, 11 years old. Edeline expressed to me last time that she, she's advocating to, to get her little brother from, from his father because the time that we get them from the street, the brother is only two, he's still a baby. And I told them that until now, your, your small brother is still in the street. They are still living in the street, you know? They are living in a chipney. Apo kasi po, ayoko na po laging nasa, na, nadudumihan kapatid ko po, tsaka nangangayayat po. Oh, I see Eduardo de los Reyes. Ang trabaho ko po ay driver. Ang akin pong mga anak ay labing isa po. Ang edad ko po, 65. Ang bahay namin, dito po kami natutulog. Minsan dito po kami kumakain. Pagkatapos ko po maghanap buhay. Minsan po sumisilis lang dito. Tapos... Wala na, hindi na kami. Ah, babatiin lang niya yung mga anak niya. Akin pong kalagayan, hindi ko kasi kayang pag-arali na akong mga anak. At siya, isasama ko po siya sa mga kapatid niya. Maring pag tumagal-tagalo, maring masanay na siya. Wala, maganda po ang bata dyan. Lagi kasi po, pag dumadalo po ko doon, open. We accept children ages 5, sometimes 4, 4 to 12 years old upon admission. But if you notice, there are already children who are 16, 17 years old. And these children are basically the neglected and abandoned children. Like that some of them have parents, but they are living in the street. So to, to take them away from the risk in living in the street, we have to take the children. The first time that Danica and, and Dana came to the center, they were so thin and really uh, they were delayed in terms of their growth. They, they are mal malnourished actually with, with big stomach and very small structure like that. And if you see them, uh, they are, the father said that they are already four but actually they look like two years old. But one thing, they love their, their father, but because they are too young when, when the father left them, one time when the father visited after, after two years like that, they never recognized the father anymore. And then one time we tried to look for the mother of Danica and Dana because we want to work on their birth registration that we can enroll them in school. But you know what's sad to say, but the mother of Danica and Dana are not really interested with the children. So what we can do is really to take, take your care of them while they are in the center. But you know, there are lots of improvement.
in, ter in terms of their behavior, in terms of their socialization. What's this? Anita? Anita. Hmm? In English? Bear. 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 Very good. The Philippines is only one country in the world with street children. And of course, since this is the place where we are living, that uh, is of a big interest for us to help them. The problem why there are street children is, of course, the poor situation for the people in Philippines and in, in other such countries, and also the mistake of families who get too many children and are not able to take care of them. The parents usually don't have any work, so they use the children to go out begging and whatever they can do to, to get money. Uh, that also creates a situation for the children that they end up in prison because there is a system in the Philippines that should not be beggars in the streets. So children who go begging often are catched by the police and put in prison, which is a terrible, terrible system.